Hello Cancers, Danny Moon here. Call me what you want as long as it's respectful. Um, I'm not going to waste any time. Um, earlier I did, earlier I started to do your video. And I think I got 30 minutes in and my alarm came on, so messed the whole thing up. I was still going to post it, but I felt like, I felt like I was being a little harsh mean maybe not mean I'm not mean so I wasn't being mean but I think I was being a little too harsh so I just want to go your cards are still spread out because I did your video before I went to work now it's four in the morning I just got home and I am going to redo your video right now um, and I'm gonna do it the proper way so I just channeled and I got some things from spirit um, so earlier today, I went into doing this reading with an open mind thinking it was going to be like the rest of my videos or like the rest of my, um, you know, my videos where the messages are all over the place. It wasn't like that, Cancers. It was very much about relationship. So even though that was earlier's video and we are going to scratch that and start from the beginning, I do want to give you a little synopsis. Synopsis. Did I say that right? <laughs> a snippet of earlier's reading. Um, as much as I was digging for, you know, from spirit, more information, it, it was all about communication. It was about um, money um, and love, you know? So I'm gonna just show you the cards real quick. They're still laid out right here. You have one, two, three, um, three mermaid cards. You got feelings, the future, and communication. I started with the romance deck, so I'm going to give that to you next. Um, you got passion. And I'm not going to go into reading all about it. I'm just trying to give you a snippet of what it was about earlier. Um, right now, I did get a few different things. So I'm hoping that it might be a little different since there has been a couple of hours have passed. And maybe I'll just get different energy. But I just have to give you whatever spirit gives me. Um, I have wedding. Attraction. Codependency, unrequited love, express your love, and playfulness. Now at the end, I'll give you the romance cards again. Um, if you get the same cards again, then we know that we're on the same track. Earlier, when, when Spirit was giving me the messages and it was about love, it was more about um, if you're in a relationship that is stagnant and you're not wanting to be in that relationship no more, what should you do? And Spirit was saying to exit left. Don't get me wrong, Spirit wants you to cross your T's and dot your I's, make sure that you go to counseling, you talk to someone, a pastor, a church, a friend, a family member, um, do exhaust all the resources that you have in a relationship. Um, and then when I got the wedding card, I didn't even think at the time that it could be a marriage that um, Spirit was talking about. I didn't get the word marriage from Spirit, so that's why I didn't think it until the wedding card came out. So um, then it got a little bit more um, difficult because once you're married, you know, married with kids or whatever in a long-term relationship, you know, you don't know what to do. You're just bored or whatever. Um, and Spirit was just saying, like, you have to weigh your pros and cons. You have to go within and ask yourself, is this relationship serving you? Um, you also have to do the things um, that Spirit said to do. Communicate, talk to people, um, get help 
first get help before you decide to leave the relationship or beside or even if you didn't leave the relationship but you're thinking about it or you want to try to work on the relationship first um and then you know you have to make yourself happy you can't be a good spouse a good parent a good friend a good family member if you're not good so that was spirit's advice to you so now let's move on to tonight or this morning i should say because it's past four o'clock in the morning um because i work crazy hours and i'm using um my a different deck tonight y'all I'm using the Witch's Tarot deck. Um, please know that um, energy is fluid. This could be past, present, or future energy. Um, this also could be your energy. It could be your spouse's energy, your best friend's energy, your mama's energy, whoever you're around, the closest people you're around. It could be their energy. So you might hear something and you be like, that ain't me, but that sounds like Sarah then it's Sarah's energy that you're picking up and that spirit took from you. You understand what I'm saying? I think I think I think I explained that well. Um but I pray that these um messages are for the Kansas. Especially because in the first reading that I did not post, um I got money like raining down money um then I, ha I saw a change on the floor then i saw the card um what glitters isn't gold um then tonight when i was meditating on y'all when i came in, in from work i did an hour meditation it really was for me so I did like maybe 30 minutes on me and 30 minutes on y'all. But the first thing that came to my head for y'all was money. Spirit told me money. And then actually I wrote it down. Let's go through the um, channeling. Is there anything else I forgot to tell you? Um, you know, energy is transferable. It, it Energy goes like this in and out. Um, Every card or all the channeling that I do is not going to resonate with every cancer. So you have to listen to the end to see what applies to you. What doesn't apply to you, just give it back to the universe so that another cancer could pick it up, okay? Um, first of all, I got a whole bunch of names. I got Ava, Ty, Leanna, Jasmine, and Corey. Not a whole bunch, but that's a lot. Um, so if any of y'all's names are this, then this reading is for you. But even if you know someone, they don't have to be a cancer, but if you know someone with these names, then maybe they have cancer in their chart. Or maybe you're around them and I'm picking their energy up. It could be something in that area. But my thing is, if Spirit gave me these names, that means it's important to these people. Ava, Ty, and Ty could be Tyrell, Ty whatever, Ty something, whatever, short. Or it could just be Ty. Um, Leanna, Corey, and Jasmine. Um, and I always, always, for every sign, always get Sean. So, and Sean is a common name, so just in case. Um, buy yourself something, Cancers. You are, and down here I put humanitarian because y'all are very giving people. Y'all are very, um, if you see me looking around, it's because my daughter had a birthday party. And not, like I have balloons all on the ceiling, all on the floor, and they keep brushing up against me, and I don't like that. Um, so don't don't worry about it. Um, buy yourself something, and um, your humanitarians. There's a lot of doctors, nurses, um, people who um, help the elderly, people who help children. You know, um, police officers, firemen. You could be do anything. It doesn't really matter. But spirit is saying y'all are givers. But now it's time for you to receive. And I do remember in the first um, reading, um, they did say the word receive, but they were saying. A accept acceptance like to accept something and it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be a something it could be like accept who you truly are um take the word 
acceptance and apply it to your life and see if you are equating that in your life somehow, you know? But Spirit said it's time for you to do for you, okay? Mm. Um, the second thing I wrote um, that I channeled from Spirit was money, um, doing well, doing well with savings. So um, cancers out there, a lot of you are doing well with savings, but there are others who are um, worried about money, worried about like if you can afford a trip or afford a bill, afford, and I didn't really, honestly, y'all, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't get a bill. I, I got like afford, y'all are worried if you can afford something. I don't know what that something could be. It could be a bill, but I, that wasn't the energy I was receiving. I was receiving more of a something, a shoe, a, a trip, a purse, a house, something if you can afford something, a large something, you know. Um, and when I say shoes, shoes are not large, but they are expensive, you know, so um, depending on what kind you buy. Um I don't know. Did I say Danny Moon? Call me what you want as long as it's respectful. I think I did. <laughs> um, I'm old, y'all. Work with me. Um, the next thing I channeled was... Right. Uh, don't hold grudges. It won't get you anywhere. I did get that energy very heavily that, peop that cancers are like... Um, I don't want to say mad. But now I feel like I want to say mad. Spirit, can you tell me? Yeah, they're giving me the energy of an old-time madness. Like, uh, not saying you're not mad still, but it's more like you're holding a grudge. So if you're holding a grudge and you're in this metaphysical world and you're witchy, even if you're not, I'm just saying if you are... Um, you know that you cannot ascend by holding a grudge. Grudges are from the lower realms of your mind. That's from your subconscious mind. Um, higher, the divine, they don't live off of that. They only live off of love. Everything with them is all good. So if you're in your low conscious mind, you need to bring your vibration up and you need to try to let the grudge go go as and it, it won't be overnight but you have to start somewhere by telling if you pray which I know you pray that sh should be one of the things you should pray about and tell spirit God in the universe please take this grudge away from me I forgive I forgive um, the next thing I channeled was start talking about your feelings and you see I got that card earlier and what did the card say feelings so you need to start and it you need to start talking about your feelings cancers you know that everything is internal with y'all y'all are sweet as pie um sometimes a little icy i'm gonna say icy um and that's only because y'all are internal y'all mess with everything by yourselves within yourselves and the the, the only good thing i can say about that cancers is that Y'all do a pretty good job with it. Y'all have been doing it so long that you know how to deal with people in the public. People love you. Um, and then go home into, into your solitude and just deal with your emotions on your own. Um, and Spirit is saying you need to release. It is time to release. So you really should watch out for the next moon. Um, every moon cycle you can release. But even in within even without a moon cycle... On a Wednesday, a Friday, you can release something. Releasing something means actually writing it down and burning it. Releasing it means talking out loud and asking spirit, God, in the universe to help you with this and to take it away from you and that you don't want it anymore. Releasing means talking to a counselor, a friend, a family member, somebody you trust. Um, or you can email me, good plug. Um, at moonzanny1976 at gmail.com. Releasing means just to get it out of your system to, you have trauma. Cancers, I could tell you now, you have a lot of trauma within you. Your chakras are plugged. They are like clogged. And um, 
again, I commend you because usually when your chakras are clogged like that, it you're, you, you tend to like fall into a depression, like a silent depression, because once again, cancers, you don't share. Um, um, and you kind of work through your issues alone, but it's time, Spirit's saying it's time for you to release and open up. Um, the next thing was take time for yourself, Four of Swords. So if you get the Four of Swords in this deck, Spirit is trying to tell you to meditate and rest. Um, when you see the Four of Swords, I don't know what it looks like in this deck, but in a regular deck, a man is laying down and his hands are like this because he's not sleeping. Resting, Spirit doesn't really want you to rest. Spirit wants you to go within, meditate, seek, seek the answers within you. You don't have to come to tarot. You have the answers. You know what to do. Your intuition is telling you what to do. I think you come to tarot or maybe my channel or anybody's channel for confirmation. You know what I mean? But once you get the confirmation, then go with what your gut is telling you to do. Don't keep going to a different tarot, a different channel, looking for answers. The answer is within you. Um, the next thing I got was travel. Um, a lot of you have plans on traveling or you're traveling right now. Or maybe that's about the money. Maybe you don't have enough money for the travel plans. Um, but spirit is... Um, Spirit is giving me a good energy right now. Like, spirit is on your side. The universe is on your side. Um, right now, I must say the universe feels like y'all are um, thinking. That's a good word to say, thinking. Um, and spirit wants you to get out of here and come here, if you understand what I mean. S open your heart. Let love in. Um... Don't be icy. Stop being so logical and live life. Live life. If you up here all the time and quiet and holding things in, you're not living life. You understand? I hope you understand. I think I communicated that well. Um, the next one um, that I channeled was something about a mother. That's another thing. When I saw the image that they gave me, they gave me like a, like a, like a, like a, I love my mother, but I didn't know if they was sad because their mother wasn't here or if they was joyous of telling someone, like, I love my mother, you know. But it's something with a, a mother. They are saying the word issues. You might be having issues with your mom right now. I just hear someone say, my mother get on my nerves. Like, it could be like a little disagreement or something. Spirit is saying, start at your foundation. Your mother could get on your nerves, but always backtrack and remember who birthed you, who gave you life, okay? <laughs> so, that is a big deal. I try to tell my daughter that all the time, and we always joke, joke about it. Um, my daughter says to me, she says, who makes you who, who makes you breathe mommy um i'm leaving um but i know you can't breathe without me and she's right i can't i feel like i'm suffocating without my daughter you know what i'm saying because i'm a mother you know um so after your madness subsides thank the universe for your mother Thank the universe for your mother. Because one thing I could tell you is my mother has passed over. She transitioned. Her birthday was on the 1st, July 1st. Happy belated, mama. Um, and I would do anything if I could have my mother here. And I do talk to her in my meditations and stuff. And I love that I'm able to have that connection with her. But I wish my mother was here in a physical. So if you're going through something with your mom, breathe it out and let it go. Um, humanitarian, I already talked to you about that. Y'all are doers, 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 and I commend you. I tip my hat off to you because I think it's great. I think we need more um, people like you out there, cancers. Um, some, um, some, somebody's sick. Somebody or a group of you maybe have a little cold and you're worried that it might be something else. You know what I'm saying? Just go to the doctor. Um, uh, they're telling me trusting, like some someone saying, like, I don't trust that doctor or I don't trust or whatever. Like, again, cancers, you're in your mind. You're doing, you're in your mind. Like, chill out. 
just chill out. You know, you might have a simple cough, a simple cold. You know what I mean? It, not everything has to be this world. You know what I mean? It could be as simple as one, two, three. Um, but you'll never find out if you don't go get a checkup. Okay. Um, blood pressure, they're saying to somebody, maybe that has to do with their mother. Maybe you need to tell your mother to go get her blood pressure checked out. Maybe your mother just told you like, uh, her blood pressure is high. Maybe your blood pressure is high. Go to the doctor, get your annual checkup, please. Um, uh, communicate more and communicate better was the last thing that I wrote. I'm on 20 minutes already on that. I was trying to, like, cut this down and not make my video so long. But, again, I have to give you what spirit gives you. And I have to be thorough about what they're saying, you know. Um, spirit, can we come in? Can you come in and give the cancers accurate messages, please, um, about their life? Whatever you want them to hear. Whatever. 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 <clears throat> And now they're, tell, they're telling me love. They're telling me love, the word love. Now I'm hearing Music Soul Child, that song, love, blah, 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 blah. You know that song. Um, Spirit, take, um, I'll take them. Thank you. Justice, the Justice card, and it came upright. So if anybody, bottom of the deck, five of cups. So. Some, they're telling me um, somebody could be in court or in jail. Um, um, and because you got the five of cups and you did have two cards that fell. And I'm going to pick them up in a minute. Let me pick them up now. Sorry, y'all. So justice is about court. And when it comes to upright, that means um, everything's going to be fair. Everything's going to work out. The thing about fair is that when it's two parties in court, usually fair means split down the middle. So if you suppose, this is just an example, y'all. It's maybe a bad one, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. If you were supposed to do two years, fair would be you'll do one year. Um, or if you're supposed to do two years, you'll do one year with an ankle monitor on, something like that. But because it came up upright, that means everything is going to work out for you in your favor. And then if it has nothing to do with court, the universe is saying, um, whatever is coming to you, paperwork or anything like that, it will be fair. Go over it. Cause you might be like, okay, I like it, but so you might find some dis um, discrepancies in it. Um, but nothing too harsh. It's going to be fair. Thank you, spirit. Um, now, uh, I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put all you know. I like to clarify cards. I like to put out one and then clarify it. So I'm gonna put all of these together. Um, you got the two of cups, so it's already turning out to be a relationship. Now, two of cups is about a, a you know partnership, but it could be a business. Maybe you're deciding to be an entrepreneur with someone. A sec, so they're telling me second time around this isn't that a song yeah they're saying like no not the second time around it's like it's like you thought about it before and you thought about it you got all the materials together you was gonna do it before but something happened and you didn't do it and now you're gonna go through with it but you might be going through with it like a, a business with someone but on the other hand this is about a, a, a relationship and the reason how I know this is, has to do with, with a relationship is because you got the lover's card. The lover's card is the lover's card. The lover's card is actually about a choice. Do I want to stay or do I want to go? And um, then the two of cups here, it could be that you want to be in a different relationship. Um, Spirit is saying whatever you decide, it will be fair but somebody's not going to like something about it. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be like, boop, boop, boop. It's going to be fair, okay? Spirit, can you clarify these three cards, please? Can you clarify these? What are you saying here with these cards? This also could mean that a person is going to court and you're going to court with them. Um, bail money, I'm hearing. Um or a hearing I'm hearing 
I know that sounded crazy, but you know how people have hearings, right? I was hearing that. That's what Spirit was saying, like a hearing. Um, ooh, all right. So I'm just, I got to give you what they give me, okay? Um, what's clarifying these three cards, which I feel is a relationship, you have to apply it to your life, okay? Um, are you trying to make a choice? Are you trying to go into business with your with your partner? Are y'all talking about this? I can, I put these two cards together as being the same card. I'm sorry. I don't think it has anything to do with business. I think it has to do with a relationship, okay? Whatever you decide, spirit is saying they're on your side. Get out of your mind. Get into your gut. Get into your intuition. Um, know that everything is going to turn out all right is what Spirit is trying to say with this Justice card. But underneath, you got the Tower card. So Spirit is going to remove, Spirit is going to hear you. You're going to make a choice and Spirit is going to remove something out of your life that's not serving you. That's not serving you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. That was very clear. Very, very clear and precise. And um, earlier, those cards, too, earlier was very clear and precise, too. It was about relationships and it was about communication. Thank you, Spirit. Um, Eight of Pentacles, I, it did fall on the floor, but I got to give it to you the way it came out. It came out reversed. Now, Eight of I don't do reversals, so I'm going to have to look in the book for this. I don't think this book, I don't think this deck does reversals, though. But if you are, if, here we go, y'all. If you are a real tarotist, you got to look at the situation, I was going to say life, you got to look at the situation for what it is. Tarot, these cards, it is what it is. So if it comes out like this, you go into school, you're training, um, you're training, you're working hard. Eight of Pentacles is about working really hard and building up your pentacles and um, building up your money, building up your future. Like, like you could be in school for something, uh, to be a doctor, a lawyer, something, anything. Um, but that's building up your wealth. That's building up your future. Um, when it comes in reverse... I am not going to lie to you. I don't know. But all of these cards, it's the reverse of the meaning. Meaning like you either you, you decided not to go to school anymore or spirit is trying to say you need to gain more knowledge in whatever you're doing. And I hate this part because this takes so much time, but I want to give you accurate messages. I, I, I'm just, I want to be professional. <laughs> That other video I did, see, it's, 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 it's right here. 10, 9, 8. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this um, deck doesn't do reversals. That's awesome. I'm not even going to read it. All I'm telling you, y'all... Just in case you got it in reverse and it does apply to your life where you're thinking about not going back to school or I'm too old to go back to school. I don't have enough money to go back to school. Or if you drop something or if you feel like you need more knowledge to something but you're not really pushing yourself to do it, do it. It's just going to benefit you. It's just going to benefit your life. Thank you, Spirit. Can we, um, can you... Clarify this, Eight of Pentacles, please. Can you clarify this? What is this about? I hate 28 minutes and I feel like I'm talking quickly. <laughs> what is this about? Thank you, Spirit. Queen of Swords. Okay. Um, um, Eight of Pentacles, working hard, training, um, school, education, learning about something. And it's clarified by the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is about knowing exactly what you want. You see how the clouds, all those clouds are not above her head. She's not like 
oh, I don't know, I don't know. She's not like that. She's very directive. She knows exactly what she wants, and she goes for it. And I think that's what um, the Eight of Pentacles is saying. Like, you know exactly what you want. You're gaining the knowledge for what you want. Um, whatever's in front of you, you're moving up in your job. You know your three-year plan. You know your five-year plan. Um, and you're, you're being very directive, respectful, but directive, and you're making plans, you're journaling, and you're moving forward. I love this together. And if you're not doing this, Spirit has put these cards out to tell you it's time for you to do this. But I'm going to be honest, the can all the cancers I know work. You know, they work. Um, I don't I wanna say like most of the cancers I know, they have plans. They 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 have good jobs and they know they're saving money and they know what they want. You know what I mean? So that makes sense to me. Um, Spirit, can I get ooh? I'm gonna put these back in the deck. I'm gonna put I'm gonna show them to you when I'm gonna put them back. So you got the Ten of Pentacles, which is awesome because that goes with work. That goes with work. I want to leave this out. Can I leave these out? I don't feel like I shuffled well, but I'm going to show them to you anyway. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is about material wealth, your home life, your family. It's the happiest card. It's the greatest card. It's the wealthiest card in the deck. I love it. Not the happiest, but the wealthiest card in the deck. I almost got it mixed up with um, Ten of Cups. The next card that came out is the Devil. And if you look closely, don't these two cards look alike? One is an angel, one is a devil. So I do, again, I relate I relate this to a relationship. But I'm going to put it back in the deck. If it comes back out, then I know it's for you. <clears throat> Spirit, do you have anything else for them? This is why I like um, to do pre-shuffling, y'all, so it doesn't take so long, but it is what it is. Uh, four Pentacles. Four Pentacles is about um, holding on, holding on to your money, to your material, to, your, to holding on. Um, four Pentacles is also about hoarding. And a lot of cancers that, that I know, especially my mom, was she was a hoarder uh, you may not and hoarding people when they think of hoarding they think nasty hoarding could be you could have a thousand a thousand do-rags like me my do-rags are all over my room you know what i mean that's hoarding you know what i mean you can have a thousand pair of shoes or whatever maybe you're holding on to your money all this money that you're making um and you're holding on to it you know you're holding on to something too tight is what spirit is saying. You don't have to do that. Um, if you're gonna, ooh, 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 if you're gonna hold on to anything, thank you, spirit. If you're gonna hold on to anything, hold on to your intuition, to your soul, to your heart, to you. The essence of you is what is what I'm feeling. Spirit is trying to relay to you. Your next card is Seven of Pentacles. First, you got the Eight of Pentacles, which is school and working and learning and knowledge. <clears throat> Seven of Pentacles is about um, watching your harvest grow, watching your money grow, watching um, um, building up um, security, you know what I mean? Um, and maybe that is why you're holding on to it so tight because you you don't feel it's enough. Maybe you don't feel like you're making enough money. Um, maybe you don't feel like you're, you're where you want to be in life. So you're holding on to, to anything and everything. You know what I mean? Spirit is saying you are looking at it in the wrong way. You shouldn't be holding on to material things. You should be holding on to your soul, your intuition, to the essence of who you are. I know I said that already, but Spirit is making me relay this message to you again. <clears throat> and um yes hold on if this is a relationship you're holding on tight to um if this is a relationship that you're holding on tight to 
make sure you're holding on tight to it for the right reasons. If you're holding on to a past relationship, that's your past. Why would you be holding on to that? You know what I'm saying? If you're holding on to a relationship that is sour, why are you holding on to that? Because that's not serving you. Or if you're holding on to anything, anything, you cancers, you need to find you. You're so busy helping other people. You're so busy um, uh, pushing out love and pushing out goodness that you don't take the time out to bring it in, to bring it in and to find out what works for you and what doesn't work for you. You know, I hope I'm explaining that right. Um, so you got the death card. I love it. This is shedding the old and coming into something new, baby. Shedding the old and coming into something new. And that's showing me with these cards that you are... And you see how the Seven of Pentacles, how she's thinking? She's looking and thinking. That means you're really thinking about these things that you can let go and that you need to let go. I love it. I love it. That even goes for the Lover's card. You're making a choice. You're finally making a choice and you're letting go of something that doesn't serve you. You have the Tower card. Remember, the Tower card, God is removing something out of your life that doesn't serve you, but you will be coming into a new, a new. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Can we clarify the Death card, please? They said they said like a new cycle, like the ten of ten of swords, um, the world card, even the ten of cups would be would be like new coming in, like something new, you know. Um, nine of wands, nine of wands, and and it's clarifying the death card because they're saying like. Shutting the old and coming into something new wasn't easy for you. It's not easy for no one. You went through all of this trauma and turmoil all within you, Cancers. But Spirit is saying, look, you're in front of the wands. You're holding a wand. You got a bandage on your head and you're ready to, to take the world on. You're not going to let this bad relationship this tower moment you're not gonna let anything stop you you are the queen of swords man or woman you are the queen of swords so you are going to you got knocked down several times but you're coming into something new and you're going to be very directive you're going to know exactly what you want you're going to um you're going to be learning gaining knowledge um for something new something new that's coming into your life it could be a new job a new person a new adventure traveling it could be something that you said to yourself i'm not gonna have fear anymore i'm gonna move forward i'm shedding the old and i'm coming into something new i love that i love this reading already i love it i love it <laughs> i love it my cancers can i get two more spirit please two more and then i'll move on to the um, mermaid deck please thank you Thank you. Two more right in my lap. Right in my lap. Um, again, you got the five of cups. Remember, it was on the bottom, bottom of the deck. You are, you are looking back at what you had. Looking back at this old relationship. Now, remember, this could be a job. It could be anything. But I picked the lover's card up because that's what this reading seems seems that it's about you're holding on to some, some a relationship um you know you got knocked down in this relationship you're letting something go the death card like spirit is saying don't look back look don't look forward at what's spilled look behind you look at look at your blessings that you still have look at the future in front of you that's what spirit is saying. This this card, I hate this card because you can't live in the past. Do not live in the past. The past is great to look at and to reminisce, but so you have to move forward. Staying in the past is really just going to hinder and hurt you. Um, that, that goes again for anything, y'all. If you got let go from a job or you stopped being a friend, like you, maybe you had a best friend and y'all are not best friends anymore. 
move forward. It just didn't serve you. People grow. People grow out of people grow out of people and people grow out of places. People grow and they change. And it's okay. It's okay. Um, the next one you got is King of Swords. Again, this is about a relationship. You got a twin flame, a karmic flame. You got the King, Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. Come on. <laughs> it's time to move on, Kansas. Do not hold grudges with this ex. Um, do not um, look back with the five of cups with the five of cups here do not look back of what what did i do shoulda coulda would have do not do not do not <laughs> all i can say is do not it's not going to serve you now don't get me wrong spirit is gonna spirit is good you have your own spirit guides god the universe is gonna protect you regardless you know but why keep yourself in that in that mind state? Why keep yourself in that energy when you can move on to new energy? <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve cards on the um. And look at that. Look at that. Uh, and it's upright. <laughs> Three of Swords. This is a broken heart. This is a relationship, y'all. The the earlier recording that I did was about a relationship about a relationship gone wrong and I was telling you in that video I was telling you to exit left and the reason I didn't post it is one because my alarm went off um but two I felt like Karen you was being too harsh by saying exit left but you got two readings that's saying the same thing if you stay in this past Nobody can help you. Nobody would be able to help you. Cancers, it's already hard to help you because y'all are very solo dolo. So think about it now. If you add more problems onto that, because staying in the past is just more problems, is more future problems. Um, how could we help you? You understand? Thank you, Spirit. That Thank you for bringing the same messages out. I, I do appreciate it because uh, another thing, this, is, this confirms what I'm hearing. It confirms that Spirit is talking to me. It confirms that Spirit is not talking to me. Spirit is talking through me to you. <clears throat> Can we get um, four um, oracle cards out of here for the Cancers, please? Four cards out of here. Cancers. These cards are new, so they stick. Four cards, please. Thank you. Three more, please. Thank you. Three more. Thank you. Inner knowing. I was just talked earlier to you about going within and, 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 you know, really dealing and your chakras being clogged, all of that inner knowing spirit is said, it's time for you to go in wood inward. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's time for you to really say to yourself, is this serving me? This old job, me, you know, me keep crying about what I, what I had or is it, is it serving me this? this um relation this terrible relationship that i'm in is it serving me this former relationship you, you know my ex is it serving me like all of this is you have to say to yourself what am i getting out of this again you're holding on tight to something that's not serving you and you are blocking your blessing Um, next one is, thank you, spirit. <sighs> Breaking free. I'm not even going to go into that. I'm not even going to go into that. The future, again. This is the second time you got this card. You got it in the first one that I did not post. I did not post that first video because I thought I was being too harsh. But you got this future card 
And you know what? I did post it on TikTok. My TikTok is um, at Danny. 3 moon a small d danny 3 moon but you know on tiktok they only give you like a short minute 15 minutes 60 seconds or something. not 15 minutes 15 seconds 60 seconds so you're not gonna even get to the cards on there um but uh, you know i'm just telling you that so you can know i'm not lying um the future that's what you should be looking for you, sh you should be wanting to break free from the past so you can move towards a bright future. Spirit, can I get one more, please? Can I get one more, please? Thank you. I cannot make this up. I I'm not even going to talk. I'm not even going to leave it there. Um... Let me give you a romance, because I said I was going to do 45 minutes already, y'all. Um, Spirit, can you come in, please, and um, give the Cancers some romance cards, please? Maybe about three. They're saying controlling. So if you're controlling cancer, my mother was a little, con thank you, spirit, and, my, and that landed right on my desk. Passion, the same card you got earlier. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Once you break free, once you break free, you will find passion. Wow, thank you, spirit, thank you. And that doesn't have to be with a relationship, y'all. Thank you, spirit. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. I cannot make this up. Spirit is, whenever I feel like, like, whenever I feel like, oh, I haven't meditated in a couple of days, oh, I, I'm not, whenever I feel like I'm disconnected from the universe or from heaven or the other realm, I get nervous. I get scared. This is my gift. I love what I do. I want to do this for the rest of my life. You know, it's helping people, you know, but every time spirit, um, how do you say coincides with the cards and what would I say? And everything that I write down, I'm not lying to you. Please get a, a reading from me. Y'all. My email is moon Danny, 1976 at gmail.com. My readings are accurate i'm telling you they're not my readings it's spirit i'm telling you i have a i have a really good hefty clientele and they come back because spirit always gives them really good guidance okay um can i get uh two more maybe or whatever you want to give me spirit thank you Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Sorry, my I don't want my camera to fall. Um, your feelings are real and worth exploring. That's for the future. Your feelings are real. They're worth exploring. Not with an ex. Not with an ex job. Not with an ex family member. Move forward. Find out what. Find out what the universe has for you. And the the energy that I get when I say that is so abundant. Is so and it's not just about money. It's so abundant for for you, cancers, because I really feel that the universe, God, spirit, your spirit guides, your angels, they know that you are going through silence, like suffering in silence. I wish I could get that deck out. Where's that deck? Damn, where's that deck? That deck is right here. I just wanna let. I just wanna see. I just want I want to see what this one's going to give us. I know I said I was going to go, y'all, but I, I got to do it. I got to do it. Bottom of the deck, y'all. Feelings. I'm just saying that was the card that you got earlier, too, and I shuffled the deck. I don't know if you saw me, but you heard me shuffle the deck. So, just saying. 
Spirit, can I get two out of here, please? Rejoice in celebration. Rejoice in celebration. That's just like what I wrote down. Spirit wants you to... Spirit wants you to go out. Spirit wants you to rejoice. Spirit wants you to um, see different things. Get out of the box. Get out of your dome. <clears throat> Can I get two more, please? Disruption. Disruption. In this deck... Um, in this deck, this is the tower. So you got the tower twice. Something is going to be removed out of your life. And I really hope, I'm a, I'm be honest with you, I don't, it's not going to be removed where you're going to be, you're going to be like dying. It's going to remove something out of your life that's just not serving you. It's just not going to, it's just not serving you. You don't even see it. You don't even realize it. I'm out of here. Last card, y'all. Heartache and loss. Same card. Two different decks. Heartache and loss and three of swords. Have a good night, y'all. Cancers, if you want a private reading, my readings are not expensive at all. Um, hit me up at moonzanny1976 at gmail.com. Um, I also have a new Facebook page. It's called Sessions and Guidance with Danny Moon. Um, so go like that page. My TikTok is Danny3Moon. I love you all. I'm with you and the universe is with you and your spirit guides are with you.